Our family loves taking field trips together and because we homeschool, we can kind of do it whenever we want. So we'll make trips to the zoo or to the museum or other places just during the week. I was recently contacted by Coastal Explorers Press to try out their field trip journals. They were amazing and sent me three different types of journals. So I have a journal for my youngest son, I have two journals for my middle boys, and two journals for my older two children. Now these journals are absolutely amazing, and I'm gonna share all about them with you in a little bit. But first, I wanted to give you a little peek at a field trip that we took just a couple of weeks ago. walk out this door, the babies are going to be over here, and I know you guys are going to want to ooh and ah, so try and stay as quiet as you can. that we hang outside if it's nice and sunny, um, and that helps it dry a lot faster. When we pull the fiber off, it's perfectly brushed straight, and it's in a big kind of sheet that people can either pull off to start spinning, um, or they can start felting, either doing wet felting or needle felting. Like I said, I was sent these field trip journals from Coastal Explorers Press. I will have all of their information linked down in the description box below, so make sure that you go ahead and check it out. There are four overlapping levels that are available that basically go from about kindergarten up until 12th grade, and there are 24 two-page layouts for field trips. So you can go on two field trips a month and still have enough room to fill up this entire book. And there's no wrong way to do this journal. You can just kind of make it whatever you want it to be. And it creates a really wonderful keepsake for you and your child. And it doesn't matter what style of homeschooling you use in your homeschool because it fits any style. And it has lots of helpful information at the end of the book as well. Each page is set up so that your child can basically give an overview of the field trip that they took. There is even a fun spot that has a section for a five-star rating box. They can do doodles, draw pictures of the things that they saw, write different details, write about the weather, and they can basically do as much or as little as they or you are comfortable with. It's a really great way to get kids writing and drawing and be really interested in the things that they're taking part in. Now you can choose to take these journals with you or you can do what we did. We actually went on the field trip one day and then the following day we filled out the journals while we were at home so that way we could sit down at the table and write things out. And so that's just the way we decided to do it. But like I said, you can kind of do whatever you want with the journals. Thank you to Coastal Explorers Press for sending us these field trip journals. We have really loved using them and look forward to using them more throughout our school year. If you would like to get a copy for yourself, go ahead and check out the link in the description box down below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.